Today is World Menopause Day, and one nonprofit is working to change the conversation surrounding menopause. The group Let's Talk Menopause is behind this ad campaign, which debuted across New York City subway stations today. Now, their goal is to raise awareness so the topic is no longer taboo. So joining me this morning is Donna Claussen. She is a women's mental health psychotherapist and also the co-founder of Let's Talk Menopause. Donna, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me, Hazel. Yeah, Appreciate great, it. Yeah, great to see you. So can you talk to us about how your nonprofit came to be? Sure. Um, well, we knew um, that menopause has been long misunderstood. Um, and mysterious. Um, and we knew that women like myself and others don't have the tools that they need, the information and the resources to get through this phase of life, which is you know, one of the most essential phases of life because menopause care is basically essential health care. Yeah, I mean, nobody talks about it. Nobody wants to talk no. about it. I mean, I'll be honest, my mom didn't talk to me about anything. So yeah. what are some yeah. of the signs? I don't know what to expect. So what are some of the signs and symptoms of menopause that women should look for? Sure. Sure. Well, people don't know that menopause actually starts with perimenopause, which is mm -hmm. four to 10 years prior to getting your last period. And the signs of the symptoms are actually more than hot flashes. People usually think, oh, it's just a hot flashes, but it's not, it's more than that. It's irritability, low libido, painful sex, um, headaches, joint pain, brain fog. Um, and women often don't know that they're experiencing menopause when they have these symptoms. Yeah, and what's interesting is, um, for, if you don't know anything about it, you think that it comes on later in life, but I have friends right. who say that they started experiencing symptoms in their 30s, but didn't think that it yeah. was anything related to menopause because they're so young. So what right. age do women usually experience menopause? Well, usually the average age in the United States um, to get your last period is 52. Um, and so then if perimenopause starts four to 10 years prior, mm -hmm. um, you know, women could start in their early 40s. But sometimes people go through early menopause or premature ovarian insufficiency, and that can start even younger. Um, so it's really important to know the signs and the symptoms and talk to your doctor, um, find a menopause um, informed practitioner, someone who knows about menopause, because one of the problems is, is that um, you know, our medical um, system um, is such that it's an elective during um, med school. And so it's not taught as part of the curriculum. And it's really important that women know themselves and talk to their doctors about what they're experiencing. Yeah. Um, this is a really important phase of life and it can be the best time of your life. Um, but I we think, need to get the care that we And need. I think a lot of, during that time of women's life, it's, it's really kind of an emotional part of their life because you're letting go of, uh, you know, fertility and your your yeah. childbearing years and realizing that you're now on the other side of that. So how do you talk mm -hmm. to people about that and the emotional journey that this is as well? Mm -hmm. That you're not alone, mm -hmm. um, that there are millions of other women going through this um, and that you don't have to do it by yourself That and that there are resources out there for you. And you're right. It is a really pivotal time of life. There's a lot of changes going on, um, both in terms of um, you know, um, your emotional needs, your um, psychological needs, um, and your physical needs. And oftentimes women neglect themselves and it's really important to um, get the care that you need during this time. Which is, very com yeah, which is very common for moms. They seem to forget yes. about taking care of themselves when they're thinking about That's their right. families, right? Um, yep. But it, it's beyond this too. I mean, it, there are ways that menopause can also impact work life. Um, yeah. Can you, can you talk right. about that a little bit? Sure. Um, where there are societal and workplace implications, um, if you're not feeling well, it's really hard to go to work. Um, if you're not sleeping well, which is another symptom, that's also um, really difficult to work uh, because there's also long term implications for not getting treatment. Um, it affects your bones, it affects your heart, it affects your brain. Um, and so it's really important to, to get the care that you need during this pivotal phase of life. Yeah. Well, let's talk about exactly what this campaign is that you're starting now. Sure. And uh, let's talk menopause, what, what you're doing now and what you plan to do even after this um, campaign. Sure. Sure. Thanks. So um, let's talk menopause is a new national nonprofit organization um, with a mission to, um, you know, get women the support that they need. We're launching today in New York City um, with over 200 ads in subway stations. Um, 
with the um, with the slogan um, more than hot flashes and it's not just in your head because oftentimes women are told that it's in mm -hmm. your head um, and so we are launching with this public ad campaign and we hope to bring this ad um, all over the country in every corner of the United States um, to give women the information they need well, and families the information they need. As a woman, I am very happy that you're doing this. It's not just hot Thank in you. here, ladies. That's right. That's right. It's more than hot flashes. Exactly. And you're not alone. Donna Clausen, thank That's you so right. much. Exactly. She's co-founder of Let's Talk Menopause. It thank was so you. great thank talking you. to you this morning. And good luck great. with the rest Thanks. of your and campaign. Thank you. And visit us at um, letstalkmenopause.org. I will be doing that. Thanks again, great. Donna. Thanks.